Dear student, Assalamu alaikum. I am Atikur Rahman, Assistant Professor of English, Mandarban Cantonment Public School and College. After a long period of time, I am in front of you with a duty conducting a class on English second paper, very specifically for the students of 11 class. Just before that, I would like to say some words on the present situations. You know that we all are passing very odd days, very hard time due to COVID-19. Yet, I do believe that everything will be okay very soon. And I do also believe that by the grace of Almighty, we all will be in the same classroom, same situation, same circumstances, and we will continue our main tax. Students, I would like to concentrate on completing sentence. You know that completing sentence can be divided into two parts. Part one, completing sentence with words or phrase, completing sentence with clause. Today, I would like to concentrate on the completing sentence on clause. Let's start. Rules of completing sentence. It is high time or it is time. Uh, this intonation is used to mean the appropriate time of doing something. And uh, the structure is used into three ways, into three categories. It is time or it is high time plus subject plus B2. Okay, after it is time or it is high time, if you get subject and then you will have to use B2 definitely. It is high time or it is time plus 2 plus B1. 2 plus B1 equal to infinitive. If you don't get any subject after high time or time, you can use 2 plus B1 infinitive form. Thirdly, it is time or it is high time plus 4 plus object plus 2 plus B1. After high time, if you get for any, any object, definitely you will have to use 2 plus B1. Now, depending on that three structure, we will try to discuss on some example how sentence can be formulated using these three rules. Students, first one, it is high time, students. After high time, we are getting subject, students here, and then took preparation for coming examination. According to that rule, we used here B2, two, two, preparation for coming examination. The sentence has been completed. Now, second one, it is high time. High time, you are not getting any subject here, and that's why we can use infinitive form, 2 plus B1, to take preparation for coming examination. Okay? And to take preparation for coming examination, infinitive use has been used here. And student place, for example, it is high time for students. Here you are getting for and students, subject. After four, you are getting an object. And then to take preparation for coming examination. As you are getting a noun as an object, and then you can use two plus one to take preparation for coming examination. Students, again, try to take a book of these three sentences. It is high time students took preparation for coming examination. After subject, we have used B2. It is high time to take preparation for coming examination. Uh -huh. It is high time. Directly, we have used 2 plus B1, infinitive form. It is high time for the students to take preparation for coming examination. After high time, we are getting for an object. And that's why we have used 2 plus B1 to take your pressure for coming examination. Dear students, I think this is very clear to you. Yet, if you face any problem, concentrate on the structure first, first and then try to formulate some sentences from your own. And then everything will be easy or easier to you gradually. Dear students, let's concentrate on the second one. Our second concern is had better. Had better is a moral law. To give advice, this is used. How? In which structure? Under which structure? The sentence can be formulated using had better. Now, let's see. Structure. Subject plus had better plus B1. After had better, uh, B1, I mean base form of the verb, will have to use. Okay? Now, example. The examination is knocking at the door. This is completed sentence. The sentence is completed. And later on, there is another sentence. All the students have better. 
okay all the students had better and study seriously this will be omitted underline portion will be omitted and depending on the rule or following the structure of the rule you will have to complete that one how all the student subject had better model work and then study d1 seriously after had better we have used d1 i think it is very clear to you again another example example two she has been suffering from fever for three days the sentence she has been suffering from fever for three days it is also a complete sentence next she had better here subject we have got and had better model law and after that definitely according to that regulation we will have to use b1 she had better she doctor's consultancy okay she had better take doctor's consultancy after had better take b1 uh, have been used here i think this is clear there is students now we would like to concentrate on the third one third one is what would rather this is also a model verb to prefer doing something than another thing it is used and it is also used within a particular structure within a particular rule what rule and what structure should have been used here now we will try to focus structure okay here is students uh, there is a two structure uh, of using the would rather first one subject okay plus would rather plus b1 then plus b1 subject would rather b1 plus then plus b1 after then b1 and b before b1 and then plus b1 it means that just before that you are using a b1 base form of verb and after then you are using another base form of verb this is called parallel structure structure to subject plus put rather plus b1 plus noun or noun phrase plus then plus noun or noun phrase it means that before then if you get a noun or noun phrase after then you will have to use another noun or noun phrase okay now using this two structure you will try to formulate some example or some sentence first one the farmer is poor but honest this is completed this is a complete sentence he would rather okay he refers to the farmer the farmer is poor but honest he would rather die Okay. okay, student boys, here would rather, after would rather, we have used b1, die, then back, okay, back is a b1, die is a b1, the sentence has also been completed following that first structure, and then, I think it is very clear, second example, we will follow that structure, second structure, here, subject, would rather, plus b1, noun or noun phrase plus then plus noun or noun phrase okay student please i always prefer taking coffee this is a completed sentence and i would rather would rather subject would rather here would rather and then take d1 and this is omitted noun or noun phrase plus then plus noun or noun phrase we will try to complete that one i would rather take coffee then tea okay student boys i would rather take coffee than tea after would rather b1 is there and this a noun then noun i think it is clear student please concentrate on the rules again and again try to understand and it is high time to continue your study to contemplate, to concentrate on your own lesson. Please, if you face any problem, make a contact by cell phone. I am always ready to receive your phone and I will try my level best to give you suggestion, to give you advice,
to monitor whatever it is. Many, many thanks for watching this video. Again, we will be in another class within very soon with another topic. Thank you all for watching.